Welcome back, you beautiful souls. It's Africa Month. We are live right here and opening up with S3 on Expresso. And we're talking about a legend in the building. Now he's earned his black belt in kickboxing, mm. jiu-jitsu, mm. and judo, and boasts over 10 years of experience in the mixed martial arts scene. Now he left the Democratic Republic of Congo back in 2007 and has made a name for himself in South Africa as a sportsman, a businessman, a personal trainer, and a stylist. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm proud to present to you Coach Razor! Yeah! 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 Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, I, yeah. what I feel like I need to start dipping and weaving. Yeah, hey? yeah. 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 boy comes over there. That's how it goes. That's how we roll. That's oh, how coach, we roll. it's so good to see you. It's, it's amazing to have thank you on the couch over here. I know much. we are pumped up. You know, I'm actually particularly excited about a fitness thing that you're going to do with Raul later because he's sweating already, which Ooh. is great, coach. But Get fit with Raisin. That's it. Now you know. Well, I mean, we are raising the bar. That's why oh. you call Raisin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you, brother. I got you. But I feel you. Let's talk about it. I mean, it's Africa month. Congo is a beautiful country. But of course, you came Indeed. to South Africa. What inspired you to come to South Africa? Well, you know, um, everyone's needs way his heart is. Yes. You get what I mean? And then I think everyone um, has the right to stay wherever you want. I, I, I feel myself not a child of the Aussie Congo, but a child of the world. Yeah, yeah so yeah. true. So South Africa, it's a beautiful country, uh, a multiple uh, culture, and, you know, um, talking of uh, talking of the issue of South Africa and the, the country itself, the foods, the seas. Um, one day when I was in primary school in Congo, we were studying about Cape Wins. Yes. Way to see as meat, and I always had a dream. I have to live in the city with a lot of mountains and, and, and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, like the natural South Africa, and as a child of Africa, I have a go, right, to go live in, even in Kigali or wherever. Yeah. I, I feel like it's safe for me. But um, like every single person that can choose South Africa, so I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you, you fit right in, my friend. We love his energy. And it, this is a good place to train as well. It's beautiful. We'll, we'll, we'll warm the house, you know, with get fit to raisin and <laughs> raisins holding in the house. So. <laughs> Let's Good luck. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> you make me petrified every time you speak to the man. So this race, I've got to ask you. So your history, I mean, it's, it's quite diverse. And looking at you now, you have a knowledge of a plethora of fighting styles, mm -hmm. techniques, and talents. But I believe you kind of started out with taekwondo and boxing first. That's then moved. And taekwondo, boxing, and judo. And judo, all right. Mm -hmm. and was there anything that once you came to South Africa, you kind of added to the arsenal? Or did you know it all before you got here? Um, actually, I came in South Africa mostly to do the judo, but the judo for me it was like an hobby. It was not something that I, um, I wanted to do prof professional. Mm -hmm. You know, we as Congolese we have got a culture that your dad or your parents have to be on your case. You want to be a doctor, you want to be this, you want to be that. But um, I. I went to school and I studied electrical engineering back home, and that is what my parents wanted me to be. <laughs> but um, as everyone's born with a gift, uh, I, I, I born a warrior, you know. I born a warrior. Uh, I born with sports, and it it was not easy just for me to like proceed my dream until. I came in South Africa and, you know, it, it was not even easy, yeah, or back home, because mm -hmm. back home, your parents, they want you to study. For, for, for them, hashtag school is life. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You know, we're going to hear more about your fitness later when you're with Ryle, mm -hmm. but just so that he's prepared, do you have a word for him? Just something you can say to him to prepare for our ultimate boxing training with you a little later? Get ready for Get Fit to Trazen. <gasps> <laughs> I almost feel like this should be evil law after that. Coach Raisin is here. There'll be a little ultimate boxing fitness for you very, very soon. So stick around for that. It'll be Ryle, Coach Raisin, and you move the coffee table for that a little later.